Hello? 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 Uh, hello? I am live now. Apparently I'm alive. I'm alive. Well, hello and a very warm welcome to my live. My name is Julie Sean. I'm coming to you live from the UK. It's just six o'clock on, where are we? Thursday the 8th of June 2023. Um, well, rather a long title tonight. <laughs> oh dear yeah a bit of a title but uh does that mean we've got a lot to get through yes i think we do so let's get going and no more messing around so thank you very much for those who um are joining tonight if you're watching hashtag replay remember to watch back type in replay however do remember also if we do do any readings today if i do do any readings and when you watch it back as hashtag replay don't do what I do. Go, get out of my card, please. Remember, it is a recording. Okay? And you won't get one. If you do want a reading, you need to message me directly for um, your reading. So just in case, I'll do this while I'm waiting for people to find me. So just in case anyone wants a reading or I do any reading, the deck I'll be using is the Magical Unicorn Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. I think I just put, did I put uh, unicorns? I did put unicorns. You need to be over 18 for a reading. If you're under 18, you need know, parental consent and parent needs to be here. Um, we're not allowed to give legal, medical, financial advice or pregnancy advice. It's for entertainment purpose only if you choose to use it for any other reason it's down to you not down to me so that is the message the legal thing I need to post um, actually I just suddenly realized I did a reading today <laughs> got to say that to the person but the person who i've done the reading she joins me she knows the gobbly goop she's had so many readings from me hello jeanette thank you for joining me what a lovely sunny day i believe we're going to be having a nice sunny weekend i can't wait for it my daughter and i were contemplating um we've been doing a lot of contemplating the last few days i reminiscing thinking things through not wise Julie, think, Julie Sean's thinking. Um, we've got like this weekend before we go uh, get ready to go to Glastonbury and we've still got a, quite a few things to sell on our car boot sale. And we're going, should we, shouldn't we, should we, shouldn't we? We don't know because the thing is, we want space in the lounge to start putting our um, Glastonbury things. Oh my gosh, the Glastonbury tickets have arrived. We've got the Glastonbury tickets so we can get in and we've got the car parking ticket so we can park the car. We haven't got the ticket for the tent yet, but that doesn't matter. We can sleep in the car. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, the tickets are spectacular. Oh my God, I've never seen tickets like it. It was like, wow. I didn't know whether to photograph them and show them, but then I thought someone might see it and then they might copy it and make some fake um, tickets so I was humming and hawing so what I might do is I'll wait until afterwards and then show it because it's just like no I better not put a plaster this is a glass glassmary ticket in case someone goes oh I'm going to photocopy that I'm going <laughs> to clone it and then get in there instead of me I don't think so it's, a, it's an amazing ticket though really it's really very pretty so excited I can't believe it two weeks today we'll be there in fact two weeks today we'll be on our second day <laughs> Smelling of VO and you know, camping and grumpy because I've not had a good night's sleep on the camp in the tent. No, don't know. <laughs> and I just looked, I, I just look at some forward um, uh, weather forecasts, and on the Tuesday, the day before, it's rain. <laughs> well, of course it is. It's Glastonbury, isn't it? <laughs> hey ho. Okay, what is the title today? Thoughtful and thankful Thursday. Yeah, thoughtful and thankful. Funerals, unicorns, ginger essential oil, manifesting inspiration, success and prosperity and readings. What a lot to get on with. So yes, um, for some of you may or may not know, I didn't do a live yesterday. <laughs> I was, um, where was I at about six o'clock yesterday evening? Oh, I was on the M6. Well, actually, we were diverted off the M6. <laughs> we weren't on the M6. <laughs> we were by, diverted off the M6. Actually, do you know what? These opportunities, because it flashed up on the, I mean, modern day technology is amazing. It flashed up um, on the uh, uh, sat nav. Uh, crashed up on the sat nav it says delay possible do you want an alternate route i went yeah of course we'll have an alternate route oh my gosh it was beautiful absolutely beautiful they took us off the motorway it took us a while to get off the road well five minutes to get off the motorway and uh <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, we went down this lane and that lane oh my god it was beautiful i mean the sun was shining it was a beautiful evening we're going through town what i don't know anna sat and takes us down all sorts of um country lanes um but it was beautiful and the th villages we'd never know existed there was a place we went through and it was called i think it was called beach b-e-e-c-h and i remember or i remember it because as i was about to drive down i went look at that beautiful copper beech tree it was magnificent the purple beech tree copper beech and then as we turned around the corner it said beach it was the name of the village and i thought well no wonder it's called beach because we're surrounded by these beautiful beech trees and the thing is if we hadn't had this detour off the m6 and you're so used to going down a motorway then uh, and it was like wow <laughs> you know and stuff like that <coughs> it was great it was really nice and it's like taking these opportunities having a detour out of life you just don't know what's going to come around the corner well we had a few interesting things coming around the country lane corners but it was spectacular we had a lovely time um yeah a lovely time it was a lovely journey home <laughs> lovely time. but the interesting thing <laughs> you didn't laugh but we did laugh but you did laugh you know me okay so uh hello colin so we did this um funeral um we, <laughs> we uh didn't sleep dead on seven o'clock because i was busy posting things first in the morning and i was like oh we have to get going and then of course we had to stop halfway for a toilet break and a coffee break need a coffee i need to <laughs> we got there about 10 to 11 and uh, i think we were one of the last of the family to arrive of course actually my two brothers had got there before me however they'd stayed overnight they were sensible they got there the night before so because my jamie my younger brother is a notorious fan for being late well both my brother well we're all three of us are notorious for being late and i think they were getting a little bit worried i just suddenly thought i better put my phone onto silent um because it's i've been having a whole load of spammy um calls and in fact my phone keeps coming up su suggested sam spam thing so i'm just going to turn this off so i uh mute um yeah <laughs> and you know when my cousin was doing one of the prayers someone's phone went off and he took so long to get the phone out their pocket and to turn it off and it's like us and they were trying to do this prayer. it was in the middle of a prayer come on people please if you go to a funeral please make sure your phone is on silent because she was trying to do a prayer to her father <laughs> and it wouldn't <laughs> but you can always tell when you're at a, when you're at a funeral service and the hymns start you definitely know you're in wales i think we've got the half of the welsh world royal voice choir there La 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 my father No, we didn't have that song actually <laughs> I can't remember what we had now Oh, I, I didn't really think so <laughs> But honestly, hello Colin, hello Lavender Moon So yeah, but it was so funny Because we're in the, at the crematorium I, you, you shouldn't laugh, I know, I know This is meant to be, sorry else, this is meant to be a funeral But it can only happen to us as it goes off This is before the phone started ringing so we all sitting there we follow the coffin in and they go oh there's the lot so it's like the immediate family and the family and then there's the trot family <laughs> and we had a whole row to ourselves yes that's your row you're there <laughs> and we're like okay ah! and then the drift japs and everyone else who weren't any relatives were behind us so yeah bung the cousins in the third from the front so i'm there there's me my my daughter um my uh julie julie another julie and my brother llewellyn and charlie and amanda there now bearing in mind llewellyn my brother sings juliana his wife sings they've got records and albums gold albums my brother is a singer in his group in his own right okay and amanda can sing as well me anna she can sing as well gets the royal i don't know what happened to my welsh singing genes doesn't exist my welsh singing gene does not exist i'm all right with a meditation voice that's okay but singing not quite there well we have this guy behind me not sure who he was but the first song comes on first hymn sorry no song first hymn comes on i know this one says me so i go well the guy behind and looked at my sister-in-law judy she looked at me jamie looked at me oh my god we 
were laughing. The whole, I mean, it was, it, I mean, the sound was amazing. It was amazing because we got the, the things. And my, and my couple of my cousins are in Welsh choirs anyway. So my cousins themselves are in choirs. So we've got at the front, the front two rows, we got the Welsh cousins who are in the choir. There's me in the row with my brothers and my sister-in-law who all sing. Behind me, right behind me is this guy going, no! <laughs> Two rows of, it, I mean, it was magnificent. The singing was magnificent but you can tell they're in the Wel welsh voice choir i mean it's like oh. i think it was really spectacular <laughs> i mean that wasn't actually that wasn't the grim door that was in the um that was in the in the church service but oh god <laughs> oh. But I looked, uh, but of course my sister-in-law looked at me and I looked at her because we just got bombarded by this welsh voices and it was like <laughs> It was like the pressure. It was like he nearly blew us over. This strength of the voices. I, like, I mean, I don't know if anyone's ever heard a Welsh voice choir. I don't know if you've ever heard one. It is pretty spectacular. But to be in a church surrounded by it, it was really quite awe-inspiring. <laughs> but we just let it up. We just burst under laughter. And he was like, don't laugh. We're singing a hymn honouring my uncle's passing. Oh my god, it was like, okay, yes, definitely in Wales. And it was all in English. Phew! It was all in English. I had a feeling it was going to be. <laughs> that was really quite funny. And then afterwards, you're all standing around chatting. Boom, 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 boom. But it was really funny because as soon as I arrived at the crematorium, my bladder was, my bladder was screaming, pause, relieve me, please relieve me. Well, I don't know if anyone knows about in Wales. There's a thing called a tea bag. Does anyone know what a tea back is? I'm going to do some education. A tea back is an outside toilet in Wales. However, it's in a little wooden shed and it's the most basic toilet ever. Okay, that's a tea back. Okay, you need a pee. I mean, you might as well go behind a tree. Okay, it's the one up. You know, if you want a pee, go behind a tree or behind a bush. No, a tea back is the next one up. Um, how much for your poop? <laughs> oh, God. So you get, go, so you said this, so I arrive at the crematorium, bladder is bursting and all the family's there and it's like that. And so I thought, well, actually at the moment, the coffin hasn't arrived and my aunt hasn't arrived. So I've got a couple of minutes. We were pushing it a bit fine. So my brother, younger brother comes over. Hi, you got here? He goes, I nearly rang you to see where you were. And I, and then the first thing I said, I need a wee. He turns around and he says to me, the tea bark is over there because I'm heading towards the crematorium, the building, you know, the building thinking there's going to be toilets in there. My brother goes, no, you need the tea bark. I go, are you freaking joking? He goes, yeah, they've got a separate building. And it was literally the site. It was basically the size of a wooden shed, except what you do. It is the shed, but it was all brick, and he walked in. But it was quite decent. But he was like, my brother says, yeah, you need the tea bark, and then my aunt comes along. She goes, oh, the tea bark's over there, not in the main building. I went, all oh, right, welcome to Wales. <laughs> so I was like, right, okay, do it, come back, right, okay. Hello, cousins. Hello, cousins. Hello, cousins. Hello, hello, Yagi Dar, and all the sorts of stuff. Let's keep it in English. Blah, blah, blah. So. Yeah. Well, we did have some barra brief for our tea. We did have barra brief for tea um, when we, yeah, in the hotel for things. But um, that was really quite funny. It was. Um, I did lose it because when we were in the crematorium, they did go and sing Abide With Me. Abide With Me. And I burst into tears. Um, but interesting, you had a shed compost. I know what it was. It was actually a thing. But it was right. It had to be there. It was really funny. It looked like, the, it looked like a wooden shed, except it was concrete it's just it's set aside well away from the thing and that's what a tea bark is it's not by the house it's at the back of the garden is the tea bark okay uh lemonade it is lemonade today but that was so funny so then going thing and then of course abide with me but i was wearing a bracelet which my mum had given me my mum had it belonged to my mum and this bracelet got hot and when the abide with me started because we did that at my mum's funeral it got hotter and hotter and hotter hi sally this bracelet got so hot i thought i was going to burn myself and i said to my oh, mum's here my brother goes yeah mum's here your bracelet bracelet i we i honestly thought i was going to get burnt and after that song 
sorry the hymn gotta remember the hymns the hymns because we're in church we're in church so after that hymn abide with me and then it was like all right stop crying now get pull yourself together girl <laughs> it was the emotions hello so, but this bracelet it was it's gold plated with jade in it i have never known a bracelet to feel so hot and my sister-in-law went oh my god that's hot and i went yeah and i said it's mum's here mum mum had stepped in because of course it was her brother being cremated <laughs> so then after that we then decided we'll go off down to um to the church so we sort of poodled off down the church well actually there was the parking is awful so half of us had to go to the where we were going to do the wake we had to go to the wake first pop some cars up and go right you're going in this car you're going in this car you're going in this car you're going to go in this car you're going to go in this car so there wasn't so many cars <laughs> at the church because we wouldn't have got them all there so we then went to the church and then had the singing of the Roy, uh, voice royal uh, the, the, the welsh choir singing Bruh! yeah good we had two ceremonies we don't do just one with the wells we had two and then we went back to the hotel well i'd got all my nana's paintings so it was like and one of my cousins was taking them off me so we felt like the mafia come into the into the car park because when we arrive we'll go to a cups of tea alcohol whatever it is you know so then so i said to my shan because i'm julie shan and she's shan so hi shan you're having the paintings yeah where are they they're in my boot so, well the boot my daughter's got so we went out and it was like the flipping what's going on we were just moving these paintings who wants this painting <laughs> this painting and my aunt goes i'm not having those paintings i've already got a shed full of her nana's paintings so i said you're about to have a whole load because i've got no room in my flat and it was like sneaking all these paintings into the other right can we borrow your car keys for a minute uh we just need to move some cars and so see how many car keys we could right we'll put a painting in that boot we'll put a painting in that boot we'll put another painting in that book <laughs> i'm thinking my cousins are gonna get home and go where the hell are these and then hopefully i gave the right keys but handing out all these paintings you can have that one you can have that one you can have that one i don't need it anymore so that's what happened okay so <laughs> but then when we came home this is when you get given an opportunity an opportunity um and you've got to grasp these opportunities what are you on about julie um well my nana was an artist my nana was an artist my my mother's mother was a, a, a famous artist well sort of artist and she had all these oil paintings and i had a whole load of them um well they were stored at my ex-husband's house my ex-husband is moving and he doesn't want my paintings stored in his property anymore so he said come and take your paintings i went yeah i've got no room for them so i thought i know great opportunity going to a funeral let's dump the paintings on my cousins uh, that's what i'm talking about my nana's paintings oil paintings sorry so that's what i'm talking about because <laughs> so, my ex didn't want to store any of my any more of my stuff anymore quite right too does she really want his ex-wife stuff mixed up with his own wife new wife stuff not really <laughs> bit of a cheek in it uh, we've been separated for about i don't know how many years we've been separated for okay so can't remember what the rest of the title let's put this here so i know what i'm talking about so thoughtful so we were thoughtful about our family and we were thinking about all our past memories and things like that and it, i mean it was quite nice to get together with the family but it's sad under circumstances but you know what so um funerals <laughs> so that was the funeral yesterday hence why is that is this the auction for the fridge uh what auction for the fridge uh what auction no i don't know what you're talking about no idea what you're talking about who's alan Carr? no idea this is not the auction for the fridge so this is thoughtful and thankful thursday funerals and unicorns so that's what it was all about so first of all before we get to unicorns um anyone who's late arriving i have done right at the beginning the thing about the readings okay so that's there at the beginning of things so what we got today is um essential oils manifesting with ginger essential oil so it's essential oil thursday we love thursdays all about essential oils enhances constant here we come good old lavender lavender moon so you've got to give us some explanation 20 pound starting bid uh uh okay uh i don't know what he's on about so i think i've got i think i've just given you a load 
Uh, right, okay. So we're going to talk about, so we're going to talk about ginger as in manifesting. Okay, first we're going to talk about the uh, the um, properties of ginger um, essential oils for its manifesting, because we're all talking about manifesting essential oil. Um, I think I've given you a load, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I've just got rid of it. Uh, I think I've just banned him. I was thinking, what, what the hell is that about? But apologies for that. They're, they're, they're the trolls, Judy Sean. Oh, okay. Well, I think I've just, um, I think I've just banned him from my lives. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. So yeah. So what I'm saying is, um, ginger essential oil, the benefits of manifesting. So we'll talk about its manifesting properties first and then all its other properties. Are they? Uh, who else is here? uh he's not appearing on me uh who else is uh trolling uh there's two who's the other one who's the other one who's trolling i've only got alan clark coming up uh there's plenty in there on that too excellent um i don't know who else is trolling all i got was alan clark uh i don't know who else there's plenty in there mm, i haven't got any other comments coming up so maybe uh so oh well stephen stephen clark i know who stephen is unless he's been cloned uh i had to put the volume down okay <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you um i do know i think if it's the right stephen clark never mind he's been banned <laughs> Um, I think that. Okay, thank you, Bella, for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I just tried to block them. Um, so, do, 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 do. ginger essential oil. Now we talked about essential oils, how you can burn them, and they're used for you know for focusing. And then one of the amazing benefits. Let me get the thing up. Um, so essential oils for manifesting is ginger. We're looking at ginger, and then we're going to look at all its other amazing properties as well. It's a spicy oil, which is a warming and energizing effect. It can help us to increase our motivation and our drive. Motivation and drive. It's ginger is an oil that's helpful for attracting success, inspiration, and prosperity. And you use it for your diffusers. So if you use your ginger, because it's quite clear, um, strong and almost oh, right there, it's, it does help you really focus and it's an inspirational one. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, for, for that. Thank you for looking after me and watching my back for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so let us see what, uh, right, here we are. Lavender Moon has put, right, great. So that's manifesting. Okay, so what else is it good for? Um, Lavender Moon says she's got pages and pages to talk to us about essential oils. So lav ginger is chances concentrating, soothes and reduces stress, anxiety, sadness, dizziness, fatigue, ag agitation, lethargy, soothes skin, redness, eliminates bacteria, inhibits signs of skin damage and aging. Oh, I need that one for my aging. Restores colour and radiance to dull complexion encourages courage courage encourages courage encourages courage oh that's a bit of a mouthful um creates your inner fire yes that's what we need your inner fire for manifesting stops old patterns of victimization oh yes we need that you know get rid of the past those limiting oh my god this goes on and on and on good for reliving rely reliving hangovers reviving langovers good for grounding oh here we go grounding protection repelling bad dreams ah oh, attracts money success and prosperity we want my money god this ginger we need ginger in our life helps channel masculine energy yeah because masculine energy is our actioning energy oh my god this is brilliant lavender moon attracts love 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 um balance and the root chakra yeah oh my god love you always have you back thank you so there we go so oh my god we've all got to have ginger and i'll tell you what i do in the mornings when i get round to it my morning cup of tea is i get half a lemon or a lemon and i squeeze the juice of a lemon and i have freshly grated or chopped up ginger with a spoonful of honey well actually two spoonfuls it depends on how sharp my lemon is probably two spoons of um lemon um that's okay and 
and some cinnamon so i actually have fresh ginger every day because it's a real natural boost for your um immune system oh my god oh, my favorite is ginger biscuits now when i was pregnant with um at henry uh with with henry when i was pregnant with henry um i would chew chew um crystallized ginger for my morning sickness crystallized ginger for my morning sickness however with anna i had i i couldn't oh i'm gonna sneeze um with anna i couldn't do the crystallized ginger um i know keep it coming it's i mean i love it lavender moon but with crystallized ginger i would chew that in the mornings uh or all, all day actually because with henry i was sick all day long yes <laughs> i couldn't wait for the papers i'm sick of this pregnancy get out there i'm sick of the sickness uh, i think i was sickness within for about six months seven months thanks henry thanks matey um but i chewed um uh yeah I'd, but i so with henry i had i chewed on crystallized ginger along comes anna couldn't do crystallized ginger but i had ginger biscuits oh i don't oh don't i gonna eat i know so with anna i had two two three ginger biscuits in the morning to stop my morning oh i couldn't eat packets of ginger biscuits ah i know so so with anna's pregnant we're well not when anna's pregnant when i was pregnant with anna i used ginger but it had to be ginger biscuits i tried the crystallized ginger with her and that made it worse it's weird isn't it maybe it was too strong it was just too much like but my taste went weird when i was pregnant with anna so there you go but that's what i do so ginger i mean my god ginger in the winter you know it's a warming oil it's i mean it's got i mean look at all the stuff that beautiful lavender moon has shared with it but it is a special an amazing essential oil absolutely amazing how do you use it well well not internally this is definitely not one to go internally it is definitely not one to go raw on the skin naked on the skin you've got to put ginger in a carrier and a carrier essential oil uh, whether it's a sorry a carrier like a, a lavender or some olive oil no not olive oil no um a, 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 a sweet almond oil a uh, plain moisturizer cream bubble bath and things like that um or any other things do not put ginger do not intake it definitely do not intake it neat inside or if you've got it people go put it in water and then swallow it what no no ginger is not to be taken internally and ginger is not to put neat onto your skin we've spoken to this before yes about from lavender is about the only one you can put neat on your skin occasionally a bit of chamomile tea tree directly onto a spot but apart from that no 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 ginger is a definite no-go naked on the skin so if you're going to put ginger in a bath make sure you either drop it into some milk so it's dissolved in the milk and then put the milk in the bath or if you've got some bubble bath oil bubble bath mixture and put the essential oil in with the bubble bath and then put that bubble bath in 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 the bath so it's got the carrier in there ginger is not to go anywhere near your naked skin otherwise you'll be visiting a and e so but like i said ginger biscuits yeah i mean it's slightly different because that's um ginger biscuits it's not essential oils they use real like ginger like grated ginger chopped up ginger and stuff oh i love ginger in um in food i put ginger in there sweet almond oil is always a good carry oil can burn your insides if so i know i know i was watching um uh, an amazing interesting program the other day it was really fascinating um it's a series of four on netflix good old netflix something about wellness and the pro first program i watched was all about essential oils and there were people talking about don't take them internally well guess what other companies are they had someone from detora talking maybe they sponsored the program what the f so i suppose with detora other product other companies also available okay but because it was based in america this is all an american program i was doing is that and you saw them getting it and they were taking drops of essential oil all day long he's getting it out of the fridge and he's putting drops and then he was getting it giving it to his kids to drink first thing in the morning i went what the fuck are you doing sorry i was i'm screaming at the tv this is i've got to remember this is a recording julie sean you're watching a recording program on netflix oh my god i was fuming oh 
Oh, flipping to talk, and he was giving all these oils to to his kids, and you know, one's three year old and stuff, and it's like, what the effing hell are you doing? Oh yeah, he goes, oh, people say you shouldn't take them internally, and and he goes, and that's like, and I went, yeah, making millions because what he does. But the thing is, interesting. He says, um, this is interesting. This guy, he's got, he talks about essential oils. He's a doctor, and he's got like three million viewers on Facebook, uh, web, uh, a YouTube channel, and stuff like that. But interesting because he says it's about the anti uh it's not about the food agency in america he doesn't actually sell essential oils but he writes books and things like that because he said oh it's you know the food agency and things yeah food agency can't doesn't sell the products but he's sitting there dropping them into his kids for uh, open up uh, i don't know about that what the also does the same burn your skin as that's why it's called aromatherapy people aroma aroma is the key word exactly it's aromatherapy yeah that is the key word it's a aromatic that's why you put it in in incense burners that's why you put it in the things which it heats the water and then you've got you inhaling it you don't you know but it's a massage you know it's the essential oil the aroma of it you know when you're putting a blend of this oil and that boy you put the two bottles together and you sniff them together and do you like that blend yes no oh put another one in you know synergy you're testing the aroma of it it is the smell what's that doing it but oh my god i was i was literally shouting and it goes what are you doing hi first time watching session hello julie so <laughs> enjoy so I was just fuming, but like I said, there are other companies out there, so I mustn't knock Detora. But a lot of people here know how mad I am. But it's because like Lavender Moon and I and 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 uh, things, we are qualified aromatherapists. But I'm a very traditional aromatherapist. I've been qualified now for like over twenty years, and I've done proper. I'm not an aromatherapist where you go to college and they give you a mixed blend here's a relaxing blend now you massage it and because you've used this mixed blend and it's aromatherapy you're an aromatherapist bullshit to that that is oh i've got this relaxing blend oh, no 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 um oh oh you might like them i mean yeah don't please don't take them internally do not take essential oils internally ah oh. I mean, yes, their oils are nice, very expensive. Oh my God, they charge you freaking awesome. They're very, very expensive. Yes, they may be good quality. However, they're very, very expensive. And their blends, oh, it's what happens if they're a relaxing blend, it's like me, and like lavender, I can't stand lavender. And lavender just makes me ill. But they've got lavender, so I can't go there relaxing because it's pretty bad. What I do is I get this little set, because sometimes you don't need all those oils. So you can just make up your own, and this is what I'm doing. I'm a qualified aromatherapist, so when someone comes to me and they say to me, oh, um, I've got stress, I go, right, you might need this oil, this oil. Let's put them together. Do you like the smell? Does that, or which one? And then it goes, oh, well, the lavender is over blend. Right, okay, well, you only need one drop of lavender and two of chamomile to make it a balance, a synergy. Not this product that they spend, you know, eighty, ninety dollars on a little bottle. Sorry, but this is a lot of them. I just get so mad. They're um oh, is it forever? Is it forever living? I think they're just as bad as well in America. But um yeah, it's one of my <laughs> pet hates. I am a qualified aromatherapist. Lavender Moon is an aromatherapist. Lavender Moon makes the most amazing handmade products and if you wanted something specific contact lavender moon and she will create a, a a product specific for your needs not a here you are here's a relaxing blend this is an energizing blend you may not need all the essential oils and also in that in energizing blend some of the oils in there may not may have contraindications to you the person who created Datora is not a qualified aromatherapist. He teaches all these people who um, who come and sell our products. They're not qualified aromatherapists. They're just reading a book. They don't know what they're doing. Ah! But that's with any aromatherapy company. But it's my pet hate. But I suppose it's because I'm a fully qualified aromatherapist. Who do I, do I know about? 
I don't know. What do I do for my living? Ah, uh, absolutely. But they have got some nice blends. There's nothing wrong either. You know, some of the blends. But just be aware. Just be aware. Hi, first time. And then I go. You spent a thousand dollars on Dottora, and I tell you no. <laughs> but loving the moon keeps saying not internally, not neat on the skin. It's got to go. And Bella's put. You've got to put it in. In things, there's so many people here, you know, listen to the qualified people, not someone who's just there. Okay, but yeah, I mean, if you've got some oils there, don't carry on using them, etc. But be aware, please don't take them internally. Please don't. Even if they say it's safe, it's not. All right, it's not. Um, that's ginger. Ginger. Oh my God, back to ginger. I've got off my high horse now. I'm off my high horse. I'm off my high horse. Off my boat horse. So, ginger. If you want to do, it's like a uh, thousand plus English and digested. Good for you. What? <laughs> um, a thousand pounds plus. Okay. Yeah. Do you sell it? Are you a, are you one of their um reps? Yeah. As in, I'm not sure what to say about that. <laughs> please don't take them inside please 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 don't okay they are so potent and so strong that it it because uh, no just by just uh, they are so strong and potent and one drop is more enough less less is more this is with essential oils and if they keep saying our oils are the top band you only need one or two drops, but please don't put them neat on your skin. I think a lot of your oils from Dottora, they are blended, but, uh, but not bought for over a year. Good for you, don't. There's other products. I mean, I can recommend other essential oil company makes. There's an amazing company in Glastonbury, and they're, they're an essential oil. And their oils, I reckon, are just, if not better, if not better, um, and uh, much cheaper. And then there's I've got an acquaintance and he sells he sells essential oils and I'm trying to think what his name is and his essential oils are amazing, um, they are out there. But again, you listen to the guy in this shop in in Glastonbury. Don't take them inside here. And this other guy, I can't oil 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 factor oily factor oil factor. I think he's called. Yeah, don't take them internally. Not an aromatherapy or should be ingested if on skin. Use it absolutely, Bella. Absolutely. So yeah, if you can and kind of use your um Detora, regardless of what it says please don't put them neat if they're if it's already pre-blended and it says it's in a carrier oil like sweet almond oil mystic moments another good yes mystic moments yeah they are good because you can buy oh you can buy amazing essential oils from them and they're very good value and again their instructions are not internally <laughs> okay ginger let's get back to ginger because i want to get on to do some readings in a minute who wants some readings so ginger manifesting it keeps you clear it gives you mind it sort of like gets away cuts away all the bullshit and everything like that quite clearly i've been on ginger getting rid of the bullshit um it's good for focusing i need to get back on with my mystic moment so do i i haven't put any maybe i should put my mystic moment link on i should put my i don't even know where my mystic moment link is i think i've got a few pounds there to spend because i made it because i've been released yeah so yeah and and i sell i've got a set of missing men would love a reading yeah we're going to do some readings in a minute bear with us like i said julie i did at the beginning the gobbledygook about need to be over 18 it's for entertainment purposes and i've done all that gobbledygook so i'm legal so i can legally do that um so i'll be doing that one well, what are we doing oh imagination yeah okay so actually that blends in uh i can't remember what the title i've got to keep putting uh so we're now on to um we've done the essential oils ginger right funerals we've talked about thoughtful and thankful thursday we've talked about the funerals we've done ginger essential oil for manifesting inspiration success and prosperity we're now on to the unicorns and readings i put unicorns because we're using the unicorn deck who asked you who wanted low you asked who wanted hello yeah ah wonder okay yeah so we're, yeah you can do that yeah we'll do that yeah absolutely keep keep watching i'm gonna i'm gonna get to the readings in a minute we're gonna get to the readings in a minute so we're connecting with the magical unicorns today that's the deck i'm using uh i'm addicted to lemon grass oh lemon do you know what one of my favorite things to um is is lemongrass tea i get the real fresh lemongrass 
and and I put it in hot water and brew it and drink lemongrass tea. Oh my god, lang lang and oh my god, lemongrass and lang lang. I'm not happy unless I have it on. Lang lang, so good. It's so sexy. They named it twice. It's like New York, New York. Loved and shared. I love pepper. Yeah, peppermint is so good. You know, you know, have like Rennie's and all these. They made. They've got pep real peppermint in it. Peppermint is so famous. Oh, I love peppermint. Like, I love peppermint. Um, when you got hot, smelly feet in the summer, and you put peppermint oil on your feet. Uh, well, you know, in the peppermint foot soaks and things. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I will. I do forget. People will. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you. I will forget. But what happens? People ask, and then the comments go boom, 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 and I forget. And some people get two, and some don't get any. And you have to jump on and go. Don't forget me because I get carried away. So unicorns, one of our spiritual guides, likes um, unicorns, dragons, our fairies, our angels. They come in under this, and it's the magical, so the connecting there, and it is imagination. So I'm going to say to you, if you're driving, operating machinery, cutting up fruit and veg with a sharp knife, don't draw this. Okay, if it is safe for you to draw this i.e. you're not driving, you're not operating machinery, and da 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 um, you're not, <laughs> it's safe to do this, and you're able to, just for a moment, take a pause, <sighs> and imagine, I love the smell of peppermint, when I used to be doing pretty cool, so peppermint scrub would make me ill, yeah, because it's too much, and you're leaning over the scrub, and you're inhaling it all, same when I do my ear candling, I have to make sure I sit back because I used to stand over and I used to feel ill from the smell of the ear candles. Um, I would use peppermint ear candles for people with um, with um, migraine. Peppermint ear candles. You can get peppermint ear candles for people with migraine. They were great. Okay, let's get on to unicorns. Let's move off from essential oils because otherwise I'll be here for an hour and I won't have done any readings. Um, but like I said, beautiful Lavender Moon has shared a massive amount of information on ginger and ginger is there um, to help us with our manifesting. And part of our manifesting is imagining what you want done. Uh, imagine. So imagine what is it you want in your life? What is it that you want for your life to be? How would you like your life to be? I mean, some of you may be blessed already and got your perfect life. That is fab. But we always want something more because you get where you are, then you want something else, and we all want paper. So I want you for a moment, cinnamon and pepper. Stop it, Sally! Stop it! Stop it! I'm going to get distracted out of the essential oils. You wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow is all about crystals. That's even better, crystals tomorrow. Okay, imagine. I want you all to imagine, if you're able to, what is it that you really want? What is it that you really want? really want you know I want this beautiful home where I'm safe and secure I want this an abundance of money so I'm abundant so I've got no worry I've got freedom with money um, I've got this beautiful love in my life and just imagine your life just for imagine that's what I want you to do if you're able to and you're not driving up and able so in a position and I just want you to imagine you've got this life that you dream of and as you've got this sitting there it may help with your eyes open or closed but I want you to imagine you have now, this exact moment in time, you are living your life of your dreams. Just take a moment in, breath in and out, in and out, and just imagine what it is like. You've got that home. <laughs> Sorry, people. Hey, fever, it's the sunshine. Just imagine, I'm imagining no hay fever. Yeah, life without hay fever, that would be bliss, absolutely. So just imagine what it's like. You have your dream home. What is it like walking around your dream home? You're looking at what are the color of the couches? What paintings have you got in the room? Are you burning essential oils? Have you got your crystals on the side? What is it that, you know, as you drove into the drive, what car have you got? Is that your perfect car? Is it land or what sort of house? How many, what's your kitchen like? You've got this dream home. It's got your kitchen. What's it like? Got all the coffee machines in. And as you stand there in the lounge and you're looking out of the window, out of the garden, what have you got in your garden? You wander up to your bedroom. What's your dream bedroom look like? Look at it. Is there your favourite perfume sitting on the side in the dressing table? You go into your bathroom, you've got his and her sinks, even though there's just you. You've got your bidet, and you never use bidets, you know. You go out and then the other thing, you've got your swimming pool. Yeah, I'm going to have a swimming pool and a gym. 
and of course the land for my um, rescue animals so you've got that imagination now that's what you've got this is what you and I want you to feel it see it and it says see feel think and hear so you got yourself with this dream what does it feel like how do you feel happy joy peaceful elated okay what does it feel that you've got this dream life can you smell the smells of you go in your kitchen and there's beautiful coffee uh, aroma of fresh crate made coffee in your beautiful coffee machine you've got whatever it is you've got the beautiful aroma you've got like your, the smell of your perfume is it chanel number no. five can't stand chanel number no. five but other people love it okay what is it smell what are the colors what sounds can you hear you're walking around your perfect garden and you can hear the waterfall of your fountain what does it sound like you've got that life now you've got i want this car you've got this amazing we well, go outside and in the car in the drive is your dream car and suddenly someone comes and gives you you've got first class airline tickets to your paradise holiday what does it feel like? or maybe you're sitting there on your fantasy holiday what does it feel like you're on your fantasy imagine it now right what did you do that's what you've got that life you've got it the day before it came to you what were you doing the two days before you got your dream as a reality what were you doing actioning to get this dream what did you actually do to get this beautiful car on your drive you went to the showroom you test drove it and then you handed over the money to buy your car how did you get that money what did you do to action to get the money to pay for your house what did you do to action to get the money for your house or for your car what did you do all right you've got your your lover your dream lover what did you do where did you go and meet your dream lover what was the first date and what happened before you went on your first date you first met somewhere step back step back and you follow yourself back to today what steps did you have to take you've got this beautiful dream you've imagined it you can see it but to get it you've had to do some steps you've had to action it what steps did you do to achieve your dream so you wanted this car what did you do to get that car and then write it back well I saw it I went I went to the, the garage okay at the garage you found out how much it was you did a test drive go and do a test drive now go and test drive that car of your dreams and go into there and say you know what color what is it gonna what color are the things like on the on the uh, seats you're gonna sit there and blom 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 go and test drive it now and then find out how much it is and then you go you know what what do I need to do to earn that money? What can I action? Seven streams, I've spoken to this before, all millionaires have got at least six, seven, eight streams of income. How many streams of income? Because if you're only on one, because you go, oh, I'm never going to earn that because you've only got one stream of income. Maybe to have that car, you need two or three streams of income. Your one stream of income does your day-to-day -day living, but street income two and income three helps pay for this car what is it i'm just going to blow my nose <sighs> sorry we don't want snot running here so this is imagine your wish has come true but what did you do what happened oh i won the money on the lottery but did you go and buy the lottery tickets and what were the numbers it's no good going i won the lottery did you actually buy it what action are you going to take and this is what this card is for the day. For the full reading, watch out. Julie Sharm Sevens on my Julie. Oh, hang on, on. J U L I E. Uh, J U L I E Sharn Seven 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 on my YouTube channel. The full readings on there. My card for the day. So that is what it is. Now, if you are like um, Bella, who's had um, some mentoring of me, she did the Pathfinder because she got this dream okay so that's the imagine i want you to imagine but what i want to do is now imagine the steps you had to take imagine what steps you had to take to get your dream what is it you had to do so you've got this imagination you've got the final you've got your dream life whatever it is now what did you do in your imagination to get that dream into a reality 
now you know what steps you had to imagine that you had to take do you want this dream life maybe it's time to actually start because if you're not taking those steps now it will just be a pie in the sky and this is what the Pathfinder reading is. It gives you achievable, accountable steps to take. So you have your reading. This is what I want to do. We have the reading. But it's just not an ordinary reading where you go, thank you for the guidance. This is what you're all going to have today. You're going to have a reading any minute now. I'm going to do some readings. And any minute now, I'm going to give you a read. But my question to you, what are you going to do with the information you're about to receive? What are you actually going to do with the information uh, if you're just going to go thank you for the reading and disappear i ain't going to bother wasting my time don't waste your time with a reading but if you are ready to action the information you're about to receive from the yukons and hand on the heart the message i'm going to re receive any minute now you're going to actually act it if you're going to do that we'll do a reading for you but if you're just going to go yep thank you for the reading and then you're going to disappear and then oh, what was that card oh i can't remember don't waste your time because unless you act on these dreams on these cards the information i love it julie and this is what the pathfinder reading is all about because so many hands up i've had readings in the past read all the cards yeah thank you for that yeah great information thanks for the guidance thank you thank you then you disappear and then life gets in the way and then you can't even remember the cards can't even rem that's why i do my re readings on zoom the reading is recorded so you can watch back and remember you get a photograph of the card so it will remind you but in this pathfinder reading not only are you going to get that recording so you can watch, but we give you easy to step easy to follow steps so life is a celebrate so let's celebrate so let's do julie so julie's ready to act on the information so i'm going to go julie marie julie marie julie marie julie marie julie marie so this is where we're going to start doing some readings so let's see julie marie julie marie julie marie i can see a rainbow i can see a rainbow and i've just seen doves fly above the rainbow for julie okay julie has abundance okay the abundance there is an abundance there, but you're thinking, oh, I've never got this. I've never got the because, yeah, lavender. Well, I know lavender moon acts on it. Absolutely. This is for Julie Marie, abundance. You're wanting an abundance of money. I don't know what it is. I don't know what you want in your life. You want it, for example, you want an abundance of money. I want some abundance of money. I want money, okay? But do you say to yourself, I haven't got any money? That's why I want a lot. I want lots of money because I haven't got any money. I haven't. You are actually saying you haven't got any money. So the universe is giving you an abundance of no money. Okay, so that's what they're doing. But if you want an abundance, you say, thank you for the money I've got. Even if it's just 10 pence. Thank you for my 10 pence. Thank you for the money I've got. And I'm ready to receive. What opportunities are you showing me to take, to receive, to do, so I can act on it, to bring in the abundance? So what is it that you're lacking in your life, Julie? What area of your life are you lacking? What is it that you're wanting in your life? And rather than, for, I want a freedom lifestyle, work super hard, no money flows because I've always give. Because you give, because you don't think you're worthy of it. I want a freedom lifestyle, work super hard. You don't need to super hard. I don't work super hard. And I've got an amazing lifestyle. I've got a very freedom lifestyle. And I don't work super hard. I work hard when I'm doing my clients, but after that, I don't do anything. Because I'm in the right job. No money flows, because uh, no money flows. Right, procrastinating. Yep. Oh my gosh. Do you need my Pathfinder? The trouble is, I kick people up with fluffy slippers. Unfortunately, Sally got kicked up the arse today with, with, with hobnail boots. Did Sally got a kicking up the hobnail boots today? I wouldn't be qualified in that, Tom. Thanks to you. Absolutely. So poor Sally got a right kicking up the arse. <laughs> Sally, check your emails. Your readings have come over. So procrastinating. Let's get your pathfinder going. Super hard. No money. Yeah, because you always give because you don't think you're worthy. Because as soon as you get your money, it's going, I've got to give it away. Got to give it away. I've got to give away. I did low. Yeah, poor Sally. Is your bum all right now? 
Oh, did I kick her off the arse? Sorry, Sally. Sending you love. I'm really sending you lots of love because of the message you sent me earlier. So I am sending love to you. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's what it is, abundance. But you need to change your mindset. Stop focusing on what you haven't. I always give it away. Yeah, because you give it away because you don't think you're worthy of it. So it's making you know, yeah, I give my money away. I give my money away to try and make yourself look really great. Yeah, get up on me now, freezer. <laughs> Because, you know, um, look at me, I give my money away because I do this, I do that. Trying to be the martyr. Stop it. You can give your money there. Work with Jessica and from now join to Sisters Quantum Healing Flow. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Book your Pathfinder. Okay, let's get on because it's 5-2 and I need to get going. Right, Sally, 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 Sally. Okay, so book your Pathfinder reading and let's get that sorted. You work with Jessica and now join to Sisters Quantum Faming Heat. Let's get out there. Sally, you have Surrender and Release. <sighs> surrender sorry about the sniffing okay surrender and release yeah i surrender all my past limiting thoughts and i'm releasing and I, oh sorry jeanette i'll do you next jeanette um so um sally surrender and release what will be will be you know what i'm going to stop messing around i'm just going to surrender and release and what do i need to do i'm releasing everything that's holding oh give it away because learn not to hold on to it yeah because you don't think you're worthy of it but you are worthy of it. So look, unlearn it. Unlearn that. Who told you that? Who told you to give away? Give and receive. The more you give, the more you will receive. Got to work on that, that full story that you've been told. Unlearn that because that, that lesson you've got. No, I give it away because I learnt it. Well, it's not doing you any good, that, that thing. I've learnt to give it away. That's why you've got no money. Unlearn that rephrase it see what else you can do right onwards i'm not going to do any more with that bit okay surrender and release is for sally surrender and release that's an encouragement further on from what we were talking today right jeanette 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 um if you want any more advice or anything else julie i'm happy to book a pathfinder with you pathfinder reading and we can dive deeper and do because you've got some real or need some mentoring and advice and stuff there that, that okay jeanette 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 new beginnings new beginnings new beginnings okay Okay, we've got um, a new moon coming up next week, new beginnings, but you can start a new beginning anytime. You don't have to wait for a Monday to start new. You don't have to wait for the first of the month or the first of the year. You're welcome, Sally. Um, new beginnings, Jeanette. New way of thinking. What is new start? I don't know. Something new is coming. Maybe you've got a new lover coming into your life. New way of thinking coming into your name, way of life. A new beginnings of something. A new beginnings of financial abundance. A new beginning of uh, good health. I'm not sure what it is. But something new is starting in your life. I'm not sure. Isn't this exciting? I love new things. Um, who else is here? So we've got... Um, uh, we're done, Janet. We're gone, Jeanette. Um, Colin. Colin's here. And so I'm going to do Colin next. We had a whole load of people come up there. Uh, Colin uh, and Lavender Moon. So I'll do Colin and then Lavender Moon. Apart from Colin and Lavender Moon, apart from Colin and Lavender Moon, is there anybody else who would like a card but hasn't had a card? And Jeanette, thank you for sharing. So I'll do Colin, then I'll do Lavender Moon. But apart from Colin and Lavender Moon um but not oh oh then i do bella as well so i do colin lavender moon and then bella colin 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 any quiz tonight colin don't know where bella went i know she disappeared okay colin 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 has soulmate Ooh. being a friend to your own soul i've told people about this you do not need anyone to complete you you want people to compliment you your soul will be the friend of someone else's soul but you do not need anybody else's soul to complete yours because your soul is complete already you're not broken you've just had a knockback this is when people are broken i need fixing no one needs fixing you just need to release the shite and you'll be blossom okay but the thing is you know you've got a seed the shell of a seed, like a walnut, you have to crack the cell, shell, so you've got to break that for the seed to blossom. So yes, so it's the outer side that needs to be shattered, 
but the seed inside isn't broken. Once that walnut shell is broken, this beautiful walnut seed inside, you can plant it and nurture it and it grow into a beautiful walnut tree. Okay, love is in the air. Soulmate. Oh, Colin, quiet one tonight after a late one last night. Good on you. Okay, maybe you're looking for the soulmate, but what it is, it's someone who resonates with you, who's got the same beliefs as you, who's got the same ideologies as you, the same whatever it is. But it's not you need a soulmate. To, you know, I've lost my soulmate. I need my soulmate to complete me. Your soul is already whole. They come and compliment you. Love your soulmate. Love yourself first, Colin. Love your own soul, your own mind, body and spirit. Which you're doing now. You're doing amazing. And then if you're wanting a lover come in, then the right one will come. Then we've got Lavender Moon and then after Lavender Moon, we've got Bella. So we've got Lavender Moon, Lavender Moon and then Bella. Lavender. Oh, one hour and 11 seconds. Lavender Moon. I've got one hour and 11 seconds. And I was just doing Lavender Moon. One hour, 11 seconds, and it's Lavender Moons. She knows what I'm talking about because I messaged her at 11.11 11 this morning. Oh, and Lavender Moon. Oh, yes, they certainly do, but I don't need anyone. Thank you so much. Yeah, you don't need anyone. It's nice because you're fine on your own, but it's nice to have someone to talk to. Um, a, Lavender Moon has an abundance. Lavender Moon has so much knowledge within her. She just needs to shout it out. Yeah, so Lavender Moon, abundance. There is abundance. She's got so much knowledge about aromatherapy and the moon and things like that. She is amazing. And she makes this abundance of all these beautiful products. Let's get them out there. Abundance is there for you, Lavender Moon. And you're wearing when you're tapping into it. So that's twice now. We've had abundance for two people tonight. Love it, love it, love it. And then we're going to do Bella. Apart from Bella, 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 Bella. Apart from Bella, 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 Bella. Apart from Bella, Bella. Oh, one hour. Oh, Bella. Yours is one hour, one minute and 11 seconds. I like that. One hour, one minute and 11 seconds. Ice cream, anybody? Ice cream. Bella, 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 Bella. Bella has blessings. Bella has blessings. And that's your card for the day. Blessings. I'm blessed for Bella for being a good friend. She's watching my back this afternoon while we were doing here. Um, blessings are all around us. We've got to count the smaller blessings rather than just the big one. Oh, I'm blessed with this car. Oh, I'm blessed with the tea bag that I made a really nice cup of tea earlier. I'm blessed for the... Um, oh, we had shortbread biscuits today. I'm blessed that we had shortbread biscuits today. I've made ice cream today. Oh, and there's the ice cream folks. I used to make, yeah. I used to make ice cream. It's a long time since I've made ice cream. Blessings. So the blessings is for Bella. Don't remember, don't look for the big one. No, I've got, I'm blessed with this big house. I'm blessed with the job. I'm blessed that I can breathe today. I'm blessed that I managed to get out of bed. Ooh, being, I know it was one hour, one minute and 11 seconds as I was doing your card. That's what flushed up. I am so blessed to have you and the amazing people in the chat. I know, we've got amazing, this is a big blessing of all, that we've got this amazing community around us. So there we go. Is there anybody here who hasn't a card and would like a card? Anybody here who hasn't had a card but would like a card? Okay, um, so that's it, I'm here. So that was your blessings. You're here. So, uh, Skillion, Orange and Vanilla. Ooh, uh, yeah, she's there. Cillian orange and vanilla sounds oh my god that sounds amazing what blessing you're gonna have your dinner tonight wow Cillian orange and vanilla okay my nose i need to go and give a good old blow this is a fever so i think everyone's had a card who's not had a card um so thank you thank you thankful and thoughtful thursday Thank you, each and every one of you, for joining tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the information and had a good old giggle. I know I've had a giggle. <laughs> um, and uh, I hope you've learned a little bit about um, uh, ginger essential oil, on what to do and what not to do with the ginger oil. Um, I hope you've learned a little bit about all its benefits. Um, taste yum. Don't do not do this to us, Sally. You'll get, I'm on my way to Derby. I'm on my way to Derby. Ah! okay up the m1 not the m6 um so yeah so thank you for joining me i'm really blessed and thankful that you've all joined and take and it's really an honor it really is an honor that you all take an hour out of your day to join me and to hear and it's really i'm really thankful that you actually take time out to chat and talk to each other and share your knowledge. It really does mean the most to me. It really is a beautiful blessing. So I'm taking Bella's card and I'm saying I'm thank you, I'm truly blessed. Okay, 
hopefully because i think everyone's had a card you've enjoyed tonight go and have an amazing evening there's beautiful sunshine here in the uk um if anyone's got any questions or queries about tonight need to go oh that sounds i know i know it does sound amazing if there's anyone got any questions or queries don't forget to mention or put something in the comments um if you do watch this back as hit replay remember to press hashtag replay this will be downloaded and put up on my youtube channel to watch back later so i am uploading my reading uh, things my lives are now going back onto my youtube channel so you can watch back for any of the information that is shared thank you very much for joining me tonight um it's coming up to five minutes and we've got five viewers it does sound amazing sicilian orange and vanilla see it's sicilian absolutely have a great evening and hopefully we'll catch you all tomorrow night take care namaste bye 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 bye, bye.